Prophecy Psalm 38 verse 12 and Fulfillment Mark 14 verse 1 Matthew 22 verse 15 Enemies try to entangle him by craft. The Bible, a book of divine revelation and prophecy, contains verses that foreshadow significant events with remarkable accuracy. One such prophecy is found in Psalm 38 verse 12, where the psalmist laments the schemes and craftiness of the enemies against the righteous one, stating, They that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and imagine deceits all the day long. This profound prophecy finds its fulfillment in the New Testament, specifically in Mark 14 verse 1 and Matthew 22 verse 15, as enemies attempt to entangle Jesus Christ, the Righteous One, by employing cunning and crafty schemes against Him. In this video, we will explore the prophecy in Psalm 38 verse 12, examine its fulfillment in Mark 14 verse 1 and Matthew 22 verse 15, and reflect on the profound significance of Jesus facing the craftiness of His adversaries. Unveiling Psalm 38 verse 12 Enemies' Snares and Deceits Psalm 38 is a psalm of penitence and distress, expressing the psalmist's deep anguish and pleading for God's mercy. In verse 12, the psalmist vividly describes the efforts of the enemies to entrap and harm him through their deceitful schemes and malicious intentions. This powerful prophecy foreshadows a future event where the righteous one will encounter cunning plots aimed at ensnaring him. The Fulfillment in Mark 14 verse 1 The Plot to Kill Jesus The fulfillment of Psalm 38 verse 12 is strikingly revealed in the Gospel of Mark, specifically in Mark 14 verse 1. As Jesus approaches the end of his earthly ministry, the chief priests and scribes conspire to arrest and kill him. Mark records, Now the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread were two days away, and the chief priests and the teachers of the law were looking for some sly way to arrest Jesus and kill him. In this moment, the fulfillment of the prophetic promise in Psalm 38 verse 12 becomes evident. Jesus, the Righteous One, fulfills the prophecy as his adversaries seek to entangle him by crafty schemes and malicious plots. The fulfillment in Matthew 22 verse 15 crafty questions by the Pharisees. Another aspect of the fulfillment of Psalm 38 verse 12 is found in the Gospel of Matthew, specifically in Matthew 22 verse 15. The Pharisees, in an attempt to trap Jesus in his words, send their disciples along with the Herodians to ask him a crafty question about paying taxes to Caesar. Matthew records, Then the Pharisees went and plotted how to entangle him in his words. And they sent their disciples to him, along with the Herodians. In this moment, the fulfillment of the prophetic promise in Psalm 38 verse 12 is further underscored. Jesus, the Righteous One, fulfills the prophecy as he faces deceitful and crafty questions designed to entrap him. The Profound Significance of Enemy's Craftiness The fulfillment of Psalm 38 verse 12 and Mark 14 verse 1 and Matthew 22 verse 15 carries profound spiritual implications for believers and all of humanity. 1. The Suffering of the Righteous The fulfillment reveals the suffering of the Righteous One. Jesus, the Sinless Lamb of God, experiences the crafty schemes and plots of his enemies. 2. The Fulfillment of Scripture The prophecy and its fulfillment affirm the fulfillment of ancient prophecies in Jesus. His life, ministry, and trials align with the words spoken by the psalmist centuries before. 3. The Reality of Human Enmity The fulfillment highlights the reality of human enmity towards God's messengers. Jesus' adversaries employ cunning and deceitful tactics to undermine his mission. 4. The Depth of Christ's Love The fulfillment showcases the depth of Jesus' love for humanity. Despite facing craftiness and hostility, he remains steadfast in his divine purpose. 5. The Triumph of Wisdom The fulfillment proclaims the triumph of divine wisdom over human craftiness. Jesus' responses reveal his profound wisdom and divine insight. Conclusion Psalm 38 verse 12 prophetically depicts the enemy's attempts to entangle the righteous one through crafty schemes, and Mark 14 verse 1 and Matthew 22 verse 15 powerfully fulfill this prophecy as Jesus encounters the cunning plots and deceitful questions of his adversaries. The fulfillment magnifies Jesus as the suffering Savior, who faced human hostility and cunning for the redemption of humanity. As we contemplate the fulfillment of this prophecy, May we find profound significance in Jesus facing the craftiness of his adversaries, 
the one who endured the deceitful schemes to bring us eternal life. Let us respond with vigilance, discernment, and unwavering devotion to the Savior who faced cunning plots for our sake. May his example inspire us to live transformed lives, characterized by wisdom, courage, and steadfast faith in the face of adversity. As we reflect on Jesus' encounters with crafty schemes, may we find comfort in knowing that his sacrifice brought about our reconciliation with God, and may we embrace the message of hope and redemption found in the one who conquered human craftiness with divine wisdom and offers eternal life to all who believe in him. Let us seek to walk in the light of his truth and grace, recognizing that he has overcome the world and invites us to follow him, even in the midst of cunning plots and opposition.